is Carcamo, the forger of pain. I'm a pro wrestler from the Panama Republic with over 10 years of experience in the business. I became a gamer thanks to my father who gave me an Atari 2600. I've decided to share my passion with the world and spread my love for horror, anime, and good vibes to infinity and beyond. Welcome to Carcamo Gaming. What's up my Carcamaniacs out there? This is your host, the extreme South American champion from War Ecuador, Carcamo, the forger of pain. But you already knew that because you watched the intro in case you skipped it. I hope you didn't. But anyway guys, welcome back to Carcamo Gaming. And we have today the second figure from Jack's Doll. Uh, well, this is actually the second from five from the Bronze Santos with their casual. Okay, this is, this is the armor, but you know what I mean, the casual wear. And this time, please give a hand and a big, big welcome to the Dragon Saint, the Dragon Bronze Saint. Welcome home, Shiryu. <sighs> I wish these figures would come with their clothes on. Anyway, here we have the body, his traditional shiny tank suit, three sets of hands, four face expressions, the hair, the box for the bronze Saint cloth, and the miniature dragon arm. Let's start from bottom to top. The pants were easy with Seiya, so it should be a stroll in the park with Shiryu, right? Easy does it. Oh, come on. Really? Don't squeeze that butt. <laughs> Behave, damn it. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, at least with this guy, the shirt opens in the middle. So that was pretty easy. Okay, ready, ready. Let's move on. From the Lushan Five Asian Peaks in China, it's time to elevate your cosmos, Dragon Shiryu! Trained for six years by the great old master, aka later in the anime as Libra Doko, Shiryu achieved reverting the flow of the waterfall with the rising dragon technique and gained the Dragon Bronze Claw. This Bronze Cloth is also one of the fan favorites and mine. I mean, it's a freaking dragon! And everything about it, the color, the shape, it's awesome! One of the most powerful armors in both offense and defense. And besides, not just the armor, Shiryu is known to be the strongest bronze saint. That's one of the reasons why he often fights without his armor. He's so powerful, he withstands massive attacks and still wins the fight. He is maybe bested by the Phoenix Bronze Saint's power. But we have a long way to talk about Iki, and you guys are not ready for this conversation yet. For me, Shiru just wasn't the strongest, but also the more mature and more down to earth of the bunch. And it kind of pisses me off that he's always running errands for Seiya. Like when he took both the Dragon and Pegasus armor to get them fixed from Mu, the area's gold saint. And Shiryu helping Seiya? 
that happens way too often in the anime. La, 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 la. Jeez, man, just give him a bath and drink his water. Just propose already. My favorite face expression is when Shiryu loses his eyes, battling the silver bronze saint Algor Perseus. The official Bandai figure also has this face, but without the blood. Jack's doll had the plentiful balls to include the blood in the face. Now that's badass! Just like Seiya previously, this figure also comes with another piece of the Galaxian Wars ring. And we're just getting started, baby! I can't end this video without mentioning Shiryu's trademark dragon tattoo on his back. Actually, this is not a tattoo. It's his connection with the dragon constellation that he acquired when he received the dragon bronze claw. It just appeared on his back. It's not like he went to a tattoo shop right after he bested the waterfall. Uh, just go and watch the anime. It's on Netflix now. I know it's too early to say this, because we are still three figures to go, but for now, Shiryu is my favorite casual clothes wearing bronze saint. I love all the details. I couldn't find any flaw in this figure. Um, if I had to choose one, and that would be nitpicking, I would say, just Marry Say already and have his child for God's sake. I really, really hope you enjoyed that review. Guys, you can probably tell I'm a big fan of the Phoenix Saint Paul Icky. And we have a long way to go. We still have. Uh, Okay, two more figures after this one to get to Icky. And well, if you don't know, well, just, just watch the anime, really. It's friggin' awesome. But anyway, guys, I digress. As always, leave me in the comments your thoughts about this figure. And if you want me to keep going, baby. Anyway, guys, this was Card Combo Gaming. Like or die.